Hey guys, welcome back. Fun on Weekdays podcast. Jenna here. I'm your host. And before I get into today's episode, I feel like I need to give a forewarning, like an apology for for how personal this episode is going to be. I'm just going to share all the details because I wish somebody would have told me. I tried looking for answers and I just couldn't find it. So anyways, if you didn't read the title of this podcast episode, I'm going to tell you about my experience getting laser hair removal. So I think we should start like all the way at the beginning when I was, how old was I? Like 12. I don't know. I started shaving my legs when I was in elementary school. I had really dark hair, started shaving it. And then like I got my first hair down there and started shaving when I was like so young. And then I also always had hair like above my butt on my back, like dark hair. My my family would always make fun of me. You know, we would go to the beach. We'd go to Hilton Head for our family vacation every year. My mom would always like, you know, make little jokes. And then I started getting the the hairs on my happy trail (laughs) and then I started shaving that just like I started plucking my eyebrows and then just, you know, I've always had issues with dark hair. I have hairy arms. I have hairy legs. I shave and the next day, not even the next day, like an hour later, my hair is back and it's just so, so frustrating. So since I was like 16 years old, I have been begging my mom for laser hair removal for Christmas every single year. Like I'm not kidding every year. I have asked for it. And it's so funny because in my hometown in Painesville, um, if any of you guys are like from Mentor or anything, you'll know that there are always specials for ideal image, ideal image, like right around the holiday time, because this is the best time to do laser hair removal because you can't have any like tan on your skin. You know, like you have to be fair, fairer skin, darker hair in order for it to really work. So the winter is the best time to do it because you also have to do quite a few treatments in order for it to work. So if you're trying to get ready for the summer, now is the time to do it. And I wanted to share my experience with you because I spent a lot of time watching videos and looking up, Googling, does laser hair removal hurt? And everyone will tell you that it doesn't really hurt, but they're all liars. They are lying to you. It hurts so bad. And I don't, maybe I'm just a wimp. I don't know, but Okay, let, let's go back to the beginning. So I go to Aurora Med Spa in Georgetown. That is where I get like facials done. I And when I do facials there, I usually do like, the, I'll have them dermaplane my face to get all the dead skin off, all the, all the hair. I grow so much freaking hair on my face too. I dermaplaned at home one time and I regret it. Don't do it because it made my face break out really bad. And so anyways, I went there. I trust them. I know they do laser there. And I knew if I was going to do laser hair removal on my bikini or Brazilian, it had to be somewhere that I felt comfortable. And I know the girls there pretty well. So I went out there and I went in really nervous. It was like a 530 appointment. I guess it doesn't really matter what time it went in, but I was just going to tell you it didn't take that long. What took the most amount of time was just them explaining the process of it and the before and after care. So you have to shave any area that you want to treat. Basically the reason for it is like they're going to zap the root of your hair and it's basically going to kill the hair that is in that root. And so the next time when it grows out, it's basically going to like fall out. So you go in and you shave all of the areas that you want to treat on my appointment, they only had that I was going to do my bikini area, but I got there and I was like, could we also do my armpits? I was just in my best friend's wedding over this past weekend. And I really wanted to try and see if I could, you know, get my razor burn in my armpits gone for the weekend. I hate to break it to you, but it's still there. I still have the five o'clock shadow under my arms, which is super annoying. Let's see if the next treatment helps. But so we ended up doing my armpits. <laughs> We did my stomach, like my happy trail, and we did my full, we started with bikini, but then we just ended up doing full Brazilian, which the pain on my armpits was just different. We started with a higher tolerance and basically they were telling me like we can do a higher voltage. I don't know if that's the right word. And it will, you'll have to do less processes or less what's the word, less treatments if we do the full voltage because it'll actually, you know, kill it. But after doing my armpits, my armpits hurt so 
bad, like so bad. I was so uncomfortable. And I'm sitting there on this, um, on this bed, they have you take your pants off. And I had like a little towel over my area. I felt like I was like Tarzan, you know, with a little leaf covering your frontal. So I'm sitting there, my butt cheeks are sweating so bad. I'm sorry, Santino, who edits this podcast. You're going to learn a lot about me right now, but my butt cheeks are sweating. And then I'm starting to get really anxious because I'm like, oh my God, she's about to do my Brazilian. And then she's going to see that I'm like sweating down there. (laughs) And I was just like, so focused on that while I was getting my armpits done, trying to push my armpits back against the table as hard as I could because you can't like jolt up. So what I did was I held behind me on the chair and I kept just straining my armpit back further and further sinking into the chair. And that did help a little bit. Now let's talk about the pain, the pain in the armpit. It hurts the most right in the center of your armpit, like the surrounding area above below or to the sides. It's not that bad. That pain is probably like a six out of 10 in the middle of your armpit though, where your hair is the most coarse, that to me was like nine and a half out of 10. However, it doesn't last long at all. And what everyone tells you is that it feels like a hot rubber band smacking you, which is very true. Like that is the best way that I could probably describe the pain. Was it endurable? Yeah. It only really lasts like a couple seconds. So I think if you can get over the fact that it's going to hurt immediately, um, then I think it's, it's not that bad. But then when we went to go do my stomach area, I was like this area, I've been plucking these hairs for, for over a year now. And so when I first started plucking my bikini area or sorry, my, um, my happy trail area, it hurt really bad until I started getting used to it. And now it's kind of the same as plucking my eyebrows. Like I'm so used to that, to that sensation that it doesn't, hurt at all. It's almost kind of like, um, it's kind of satisfying in a really kind of weird, weird, freaky way. So I wasn't too worried about my stomach, but then she zapped me one time and I was like, Ooh, and we had her turn it down, um, a little bit so that my bikini area would be, I would be able to actually do my entire bikini area versus doing the same frequency that we did in my armpits and only be able to get through like half of it because I just couldn't stand it anymore. So we do my stomach area. Honestly, my stomach didn't hurt that bad. I think it was because I am used to plucking it. So I would say that pain was probably like a five out of 10. And it's really just like a little zap. And it's really only specific areas that you feel it intensely. There's some areas that you just don't even feel it at all. So I was okay with the stomach. Then we moved down to the bikini area. So I, I have to say like one of my concerns was I get kind of uncomfortable being like naked in front of people. I think over the past couple of years, I've gotten a lot more comfortable and that's why I did feel okay going to these girls. Like I said, I am pretty comfortable in front of them. Like I've talked to them about my acne issues. They've seen me with no makeup on. They've seen my chin hairs. They've seen my mustache. Like They've seen it all besides my, you know, my vagine. And that was just my day that I was finally you know, I was finally sharing it with my girl, Erica. So she made me feel very comfortable, very safe. She didn't make it awkward at all. And I honestly think I was more worried about the pain of it than I was about the awkwardness or uncomfortableness of just sitting on a table, like (laughs) completely open, like leg spread. So they do the top part, not too bad. And Then like all along the leg, I had them do like the inner part of my thigh. I don't know if anyone else relates to this. And again, Santino, I'm so sorry that you have to listen to this, but my hair will like grow down my leg and it's not in the same growth pattern as the top of my leg or the side of my leg, if that makes sense. Like the top and the side of my leg, the hair grows down, but the inside of my thigh, the hair grows like to inward. Does that make sense? It almost follows the hair growth of my bikini line. So it looks like my bikini line is just halfway down my leg, although it's not. But anyways, I had her treat that area. There were some spots that stung quite a bit. The best way other than a hot rubber band is just to say it's like kind of spicy. Do you know what I mean? Like it stings and it's spicy. Your skin feels like kind of hot, but it doesn't last that long. So I got through that 
And then we get to the actual, the bits. <laughs> I can't believe I'm sharing this. You know, part of me, whenever I share these types of things on the internet, like, I just tell myself that no one I know is going to listen to this. And then I'm totally fine with it. Like, telling myself that no one from high school or college or my family is going to listen to this. I'm like, sure, I'll share whatever on the internet. But then when I think about the fact that like my grandma might listen to this or some someone from high school that really doesn't like me and they're just totally judging me for this, um, then I get a little bit in my head. So for right now, we're just going to put that thought aside <laughs> because someone out there listening to this, this, this might help you, you know, be a little bit more comfortable with not feeling scared to go get your laser. So we get into the bits And I didn't realize I ended up doing the full Brazilian because I was like, fuck it. At this point, I'm already here. I'm already doing it. So to not do the full thing, I think I would regret it. And we turned the frequency down. So it wasn't that bad. Um, Goes kind of fast. But anyways, they have you like butterfly your legs. So one leg will be straight. The other will be butterflied. And she'll like pull your skin, like your inner thigh to separate (laughs) oh my god this is so graphic okay she'll separate it and then she'll do like the inside of that lip okay and then she'll do the other side and then you'll go full butterfly and then you're like helping her pull apart oh my god (laughs) this is making me uncomfortable just to say it because I'm just thinking about how it felt again so I didn't I don't, there's really not a better way to say this, but basically, um, she zaps the inside as well. And I wasn't really fully prepared for that. Like I was just kind of expecting the outside, but no, we did the full inside as well. And, um, I mean, you can imagine that like smacking a rubber band on the inside of your vagina, like it doesn't feel great. And anybody that tells you that it's not that bad, either they've done like eight treatments and they already know what it feels like, or they just feel nothing at all, but it is not, it's not comfortable. In my mind, I just kept having to think about the fact that like, you know, at the end of all this, I'm never going to have to worry about shaving ever again and it'll all be good. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And so then I think we're done. And she goes, do you want to do the backside? Now, this is where things get kind of crazy because I'm like, oh my God, the backside. Like, I mean, I'm clean. Like I showered right before I went there. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about like smelling or being gross or anything but I was just like Ooh, the butt is a little bit different than like the front I don't know why but in my mind it is and I wasn't really prepared for it because like I said you have to shave all of the areas that you're going to treat this is so TMI I really shouldn't be sharing this but okay it's fine um I was like I was like I didn't shave back there so like and my girl Erica goes, oh, don't worry about it. Do you want me to do it? And I'm like, you want to shave, like you're going to, you're going to shave my butt crack? <laughs> oh my God. I, ooh, I really hope no one listens to this. Okay. And so I am, I'm on this bed. It's basically like one of those chairs that you're at in the dentist and I am full frontal just laying on it. And she has me reach my hands behind me And I like spread my cheeks and (laughs) she shaved in there for me. And, um, yeah. And then I'm, I'm still holding it apart and then she zaps it and it wasn't that bad. I'm going to be honest. I don't think the behind is nearly as bad as the front, um, which I've also heard is the same for waxing, but I've never done waxing on the back. So the only time I've ever waxed was um, in college, my junior year, I was going to spring break in Fort Lauderdale. And I knew that a week straight of wearing bikinis, I was going to have really bad razor burn, really bad ingrown hairs, a lot of redness, a lot of tenderness. And I was like, I'm just going to go and get waxed. I went to this place in, um, in New York City, because I was studying away there at that time. And I found this like, little spa that could do a same day appointment because it was a really last minute trip. So I went there, there were like these older Russian women and they didn't speak like super fluently and they were not comforting like at all. They were kind of rude 
because I was really, really nervous when I was getting waxed for the first time. I had no idea what to expect, just like I didn't know what to expect for laser. And everybody will tell you what it feels like, but until you feel it yourself, you don't know what it is or really. And they were not nice about it. Like I needed time to breathe in between each strip, you know, and just like recollect myself. And they didn't give me that at all. They just they kind of yelled at me. And so it made me really scared to do the laser. But for laser, she went at the speed that I needed her to, like if I ever needed a breath, because I held my breath every time she zapped me, I was like, <gasps> and I felt like it helped with the pain. Um, but then after like 15 seconds, you have to let go. And so she went at my own speed. And overall, it took like, I don't know, maybe like 30 minutes, no more than 30 minutes. Um, we ended up doing my butt cheeks as well. <laughs> you know, I just figured I would tell you that. So we did my cheeks, the back, like just the full backside, the full front side, my stomach and my armpits. And let me check again what the actual price was for it. Because um, I, I actually had some referrals from girls that had gone in and like gotten Botox or or facials or whatever anyone that's ever said that I referred them I get I think it's like $25 off for every referral so I want to say I got like $75 off or something and then they gave me an additional discount just because I keep going back there all the time and I always post about them so let me find exactly what it was because I'm not gonna lie it was pretty expensive um and I know that there's a bunch of places out there on Groupon that you can go to for like pretty affordably but I don't know there was just something about going to a med spa or a location that I don't know anyone and then just having them be up in such a private personal area that I think that's what I was been the most afraid of versus the actual pain of it overall The next time that I go back in, I'm going to have them turn up the frequency or I don't even know the correct term for it, whatever. I'm going to have them turn it up a little bit more on my bikini line because I guess I'll get to my receipt in a minute. So your aftercare is that um, you can't self tan, you can't go in the sun or anything. Um, You can't really like put anything on you uh, for like the next 48 hours and then you are supposed to shave like normal 48 hours afterward. So she told me that my hair growth will come back a lot thinner and I'll notice that like sometimes your hairs will fall out or you'll have hairs like in your shirt or in your underwear or whatever because that hair is dead and it's just waiting to fall out of like the follicle. I didn't have any of those experiences yet. Honestly, I think that my hair grew back the exact same thickness. I don't notice literally any difference at all I will say my hair grew back a little bit slower on my bikini area um I guess I haven't really checked the back like in a mirror or anything but yeah my armpits I was really surprised about because I thought that especially using the higher frequency on my armpits I thought that I would have insane results from it but I didn't really so I don't know if it'll just take a couple more days I guess I'll have to keep you updated but yeah um typically with laser hair removal you have to do like six to I think even 12 treatments following the first one and there you do them six weeks apart depending on your hair growth like how coarse it is how thick it is like how much you have and the coloring of it depending on how the laser works on you you might have to do a ton of different treatments and this is actually a question that I meant to ask them but I'm pretty sure you have to pay for every single treatment following so like you do the math. I'll tell you how much this treatment was and it can definitely add up. But I guess I'm finally at a position where I'm like, okay, I have the money to be able to pay for this myself after been asking for it for Christmas for so long. And it's just like an investment that I have wanted to make in myself because it has so much to do with my self-confidence. I mean, living in Texas in the summer, I would I would like turn plans down because I didn't want to be in my bathing suit because I have such bad irritable skin, especially my bikini line. It makes it just, even though no one's probably paying attention to it, I am, I am. And it's in my mind that like everyone else is seeing what I'm seeing, even though they probably aren't. And so I knew that this is something that if I did, it would make me feel better about it. It's worth it. It's worth the pain. It's worth the money. Okay. Finally, let me tell you how much it was. 
All right, you guys, it is officially the real deal. It is now Black Friday sale until November 26th. No more of not knowing what to get your family or your boyfriend or your grandparents for Christmas because I'm going to link all of my gift ideas for you on my landing page at macy's.com forward slash F-O-W. I will link anything from gifts for yourself, gifts for your sister, your mom, your dad, your your boyfriend's mom, literally everyone. I will do the work for you. Go check it out, macy's.com forward slash F-O-W and go there before November 26th so you can still get it on sale. So one of the things they told me is that if you just do your bikini line, it's going to be the exact same cost as if you do the entire bikini, like if you do the entire Brazilian. So in my opinion, it's like you're going to pay the same amount. So why not just do the full thing if you're into that? If you're into a little hairless cat vibe like me. (laughs) That's kind of gross. Okay. Um, It was, drum roll, $320. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. Um, so full transparency, they gave me a $96 discount because I am like part of their rewards thing. It's just a lot of referrals that I've been saving. And then they, they gave me like the discount. So it, it ended up being for me $224. That was for the bikini for the, and I guess they didn't charge me either for my like stomach area because technically I think you could have. You could have argued that it is part of the bikini because it's like going into it. So they didn't charge me for that. It was also such a small area. It was like maybe four zaps. So that was that. And then the underarms was is $230, but I got a $69 discount on that. So it was 161. So let me do the math. 224 plus 161. What is that? Oh, gosh. 224 plus 161. I never said I was good at math, you guys. Okay, $385. $385. Um, I feel like that's pretty expensive. You can definitely find cheaper. Um, the only thing with laser hair removal, I feel like, is I would just go somewhere that you have a referral from. Like if, if you're just finding some random place on Google, I don't know. I don't feel comfortable doing that. I know a lot of girls that have gone to this one place from Groupon and they've all had good experiences. So I'm like, okay, I trust that. But if I found the Groupon on my own, I don't know about that. I'm not fully confident in it. So yeah, that was my experience with laser hair removal. And I wanted to do laser hair removal on my face as well, uh, just because it's it's so thick. And if I don't get my face germaplane probably like every other week, then the makeup buildup is so bad. I feel like it clogs my pores. It makes my skin break out. I get it on my chin and I have to pluck these like dark hairs all the time. My mustache, it's just, I really want to get it in my face, but I didn't this time because I actually got Lays MD on my face, which is not laser hair removal. It's totally different. Lays MD is like a resurfacing laser essentially that you do all over your face and it's to resurface your skin so it'll basically kind of like shed a layer of your skin but it's not a chemical peel I've done chemical peels before and it makes your skin peel off and there's layers and it's itchy and it's flaky this was not the same so now switching gears talking into about Lays MD um basically The last time that I had gone into Aurora, I was talking to them about how I have these really, I just have all this scarring, um, especially on my cheeks, just from over the years of a lot of acne. I have a horrible habit of picking my acne. And so the scarring, it takes forever for it to actually go away. And my skin has gotten so clear. I'm so thankful for it. I'll have to give you guys, you know, an acne update since um, I talked about it a couple weeks ago about how I've been struggling, but my skin has gotten a lot better. I have a few small breakouts, but overall the texture of my skin has improved. It's just the scarring. And you know how sometimes if you have a really big breakout and you're picking it or or whatever, you have a scab and then you'll get like a little divot in your skin. Have you ever seen that? Basically, Lays MD, when I was there, as I was telling them these issues and what I wanted to change, they're like, oh, you should try and do this and see how this works for you. So that's what I did when I first went into the med spa, you numb your face for this. So I went into the bathroom, they give you a little cream, you put on 
gloves and you put the numbing cream all over your face. And so while my face was numbing, this is what they were telling me all the procedures about laser and like the hair removal and stuff. And we did all of the laser hair removal while I still had the numbing stuff on my face. So mind you, I can hardly move my face. My lips are so numb. Like I have drool coming out of my mouth and I can have like no emotions between the Botox and the face numbing. Like, I mean, I had a lot going on in my face. I didn't do Botox this last time I was there. I did it a, I did it a while ago. Um, I think like mid September. I do Botox like twice a year, sometimes three times a year. I I do it in my forehead and in my lip. I do a lip flip. The lip flips really don't last that long. Wow, I could do a whole podcast episode about the Botox that I get, but we'll save that for another time. So numb my face. That's not painful at all. It's just a really weird sensation. And then for Lays MD, basically you put on these goggles and I don't know all of the logistics about it, but basically it's like very staticky on your face. You know, when you've ever touched an old school TV and it has a staticky screen and you touch it and it kind of shocks your fingertips a little bit, it feels really weird. That's how it felt all over my face. So it's kind of, it's a little uncomfortable. It's like really weird, but it's not painful because your face is numb. If your face wasn't numb, I can imagine it would probably hurt so bad. Um, But that whole thing took probably 20, 30 minutes. And so the aftercare for that, oh, and then after I did that, um, Erica, the girl that did these procedures on me. And so if you go there, let her know (laughs) when I was sitting there and she's literally shaving my butt, I was like, are you going to tell people that you shaved my butt? And she's like, no, I can't. It's against the law. But I mean, if you ever tell anyone, I'm like, yeah, I will. I will. Don't worry. Um, so I highly recommend going to her. And then Candace is also my girl over there. But so after she was saying that my skin loves active ingredients and when my skin is like opened up in the pores, are, you know, accepting whatever that it works really well. So we did an aluminizing chemical peel after and chemical peels usually sting quite a bit. They're pretty spicy um, in a different way than the laser hair removal, but also similar. It's, it's really weird sensation. And so the aluminizing peel isn't, it doesn't make your skin shed. It doesn't make it itchy or anything. It's really just to make it like brighter to be honest with you, I don't really know what it does. She just told me I should do it. And I was like, okay, I trust you. I believe you. And then in terms of the aftercare, you can't go in a sauna or be in like a super hot area for like three or four days afterwards. Luckily I was in Alabama for the wedding. And so I wasn't doing any of that, but typically I go and work out at True Fusion, which is like hot bar, hot Pilates, hot boot camp, basically all these like super hot classes where I wouldn't be able to do. Um, so it was a really good timing, but I was worried that my skin would look like uh, flaky. It wasn't flaky. It was more of like a sandpaper texture. Really, really interesting. So I don't have any of that texture now, like at all. Um, but they say basically up to a week after you get this treatment done, your skin might be super sandpapery, just depending on how your skin reacts to it. And it might get like a little bit darker, but then after that week or however long, it'll kind of like shed on its own. And then you can exfoliate after like seven days, I believe. Um, so I haven't exfoliated my skin yet. I've just been using um, a super soft cleanser that they gave me. And then you have to use a moisturizer morning and night. Um, I bought one from them and then I bought a sunscreen as well from them that I have to use. And so my skin has been so much better. Oh my God. I actually like wanted to cry because I just felt so good in my skin for the first time in, in months. And I didn't want to share anything about this Lays MG treatment until I knew what the results were going to be. I didn't want to share it like the day of or the day after just because I mean, I don't know if my skin reacted really bad to it and it started breaking out again. I didn't want to share something and then influence maybe somebody to go and get it and then it fucks up their skin. Um, But yeah, so you're not supposed to really wear anything on your skin other than that. You can put makeup on. Um, I will say the first day or two after my skin was pretty red. However, you can put makeup on. It did look a little bit gritty, if that makes sense. Almost like 
Seriously, sandpaper is the best way to describe it. You know when you sandpaper something and then there's like those little grits. It almost looked like there were little grits under my makeup, but it looked really good in photos. It was really weird. It almost made my makeup stay on even better. And my skin looked flawless. Like I'm telling you completely clear. I had no breakouts at all. Now, a couple days later, I do have like one little breakout on my cheek and um, one on this right side of my face. But she told me that it's integral that especially after this treatment that you don't pick your face at all. Even if you have a white head, even if it's ready to pop, you know, you have to resist the urge to be Dr. Pimple Popper and you have to just let it naturally release itself. So I did that. And my skin is looking absolutely phenomenal. I'm feeling absolutely phenomenal. It's a win-win overall. So I would give the LASMD treatment a 10 out of 10 so far. One thing that she mentioned is this is not a way to cure your acne. And I also want to emphasize the fact that I didn't do this to get rid of my acne by any means. I got rid of, I did this to help get rid of my scarring and get rid of like the divots and the texture in my skin from you know, past scarring and shit that I did to my skin from other breakouts. So she recommended that I do this every three weeks until I have like that under control and until I have the results that I want. Um, I don't think you have to do it every three weeks by any means, but I probably will just to get the most out of it. It's kind of hard, you know, to do, to do that every three weeks. Like that's a lot of money. Um, so we'll see. I think I'm going to keep my appointment that I have three weeks from now, see how my skin looks after that. And then maybe take a break because I also feel like it, it, I mean, I'm sure it is okay for your skin, but I don't know. It seems like a lot to be putting on your skin. So I have that in three weeks and then I have another laser hair removal surgery. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean surgery. Laser hair treatment in six weeks. So the total for the Lays MD on my face, if anyone's wondering, and also, by the way, if you want to find out more about this, like I am not the best resource at all. I'm still learning about this. There are so many professional resources online. You can Google it. You can read reviews. You can look at before and after photos. Um, I did a lot of that beforehand and um, I just don't want to be, you know, (laughs) your, your education for finding out about this, but I do want to share it because I think it is working for me. And so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it'll help someone. Okay. Lays MD on my face was 139 and I paid full price for that. Um, and then we did a, the chemical peel on my face was a hundred dollars. The numbing cream beforehand was $25. And then I had to buy like I said, that, um, that moisturizer and sunscreen, and that was $72, but I got a $21 discount on the topicals. So overall $50 and 40 cents plus a hundred, that's 150 plus 25 is 175 guys. You guys, I'm not good. 175 plus 139. What is that? 175 plus 139. Someone is listening to this podcast right now, doing the math in their head, thinking you are such an idiot, Jenna. Okay, 314. It was $314 for my Lays MD this time. But I mean, I don't know. If you go to Aurora Med Spa and you say I recommended you, I might get $25 off. So we'll see how much it costs next time. Um, but overall, good experience. Laser hair removal, I won't have an update for you of whether it's worth it or not until probably end of the winter going into next summer, but I guess I'll keep you guys updated. Um, I hope this shared some information with you, makes you feel a little bit less, you know, awkward or scared to go in. The actual process itself, not as bad as I was expecting, really wasn't. I think I, you know, when you hype things up in your mind so much that like the expectations are so, so high that's what it was. I was scared. I was more scared of what I imagined it to be than what it actually was. So not that bad. Lays MD, I recommend. I do. Learn more about it. Um, I think it's like a fairly new, you know, process. We'll see if it's worth it. I'll keep you guys updated. But yeah, this is a short little episode for you guys. Uh, <laughs> laser hair removal on weekdays, I guess. <laughs> All right. That's it for me, you guys. Um, I will talk to you next next Tuesday. Short episode this week. You get two in one. Little surprise from me to you. Love you guys. See you next Tuesday.